Hi everyone, my name is Nilofa Jain and I am the founder of the Happy Career Project. And today I'm going to give you insights on the medical profession and the various options that one can pursue within it. To pursue medical studies in India, you need to have physics, chemistry, biology in your 12th standard. As you may be aware, there are about 52,000 seats for MBBS studies. And there are about 7 lakh aspirants who sit for NEET each year. National Eligibility Entrance Test Examination. So once you've cleared your MBBS, which is about 5 to 5 and a half years, what do you do next? Well, you have to do a specialization. You have to enter residency programs in order to graduate and work as a medical practitioner in a specified field. For example, you can become a doctor of medicine, which is a specialization, which is also called as MD. Then you can become a master of surgeon, which is called as MS and again is a specialization. Specializations take about three years to complete. And of course, to enter into specializations as well, you need to sit for another entrance exam, which is called as NEET post-graduation exam. Once you complete your specialization, you have an option to go in for super specialization, which takes about two more years to complete. You have an option of pursuing doctor of medicine, which is a super specialization DM or master of chirurgical, which is MCH. There are various branches of specialization that one can pursue under MD or MS. For example, under MD, one can pursue neurology, pathology, endocrinology, radiology, then pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology, amongst many more. When we talk about master of surgery, you can pursue um, plastic surgery, pediatric surgery, cardiac surgery, ENT, again gynecology, amongst many more. There is a reason our nation is obsessed with becoming a doctor. Not only is this profession very satisfying spiritually and on humanistic grounds, but also it is very financially rewarding. Initially, when the doctors complete the post-graduation and super-specialized education, they can either attach themselves to a private hospital and do a private practice, or they could teach in a medical college as a lecturer to gain more experience. In the teaching profession, the doctors can earn anywhere between 30,000 to 50,000 rupees per month, whereas a master of surgeon, that is anybody who's completed MS, will be definitely earning more. Once you acquire enough experience in the field, you definitely earn more in the private and government practice. So if you found this video useful and informative, please do like and share.